Good morning, guys. I am up and working. I don't have time to exercise today. I don't have time to do anything. <laughs> okay, guys, for some reason, I told my Aunt Beverly that I would make custom-made stickers to put on these mugs. So our family Christmas party is on Saturday and she has made these little gift mugs. This is a, a empty one, of course, but she's filled these mugs with treats and wants to give them out as favors for the party. And I was like, oh yeah, I got a cricket. I could print out a custom vinyl label to put on this mug. And she was like, oh my God, that would be so great. So now she really has her heart set on it. <laughs> And I'm just now getting around to it. And so I don't know why I volunteered to do this because I do too much, that's why. So now I got my Cricut. Okay, so I'm gonna load it, cut it. This always makes me so nervous. Okay, so now I have to take my design and put it onto transfer paper. I mean, you guys, why did I do this? Okay, now I peel off the backing. Oh no, I was supposed to weed my design before I put it on the transfer paper. I was definitely supposed to weed it before I put it on the transfer paper. Ugh. Okay, take two. Okay, so I've recut my design and now I need to weed it, which means I just need to take all of the little excess pieces that I do not want to transfer to my mug off of the paper. So it's gonna be a little label and I'm gonna use these tools and I chose way too intricate of a design, I can already tell. I mean like you guys, 100%, I should just be doing this with a sticker. I should tell her that we should just get like stickers printed from like Office Max or something like that, Kinko's. Did I just name two stores that are out of business? Like. Why couldn't I said staples like a normal person? Oddly enough, you guys, this is relaxing to me as well. 2,000 years later. Okay, that was super, super tedious. But now I will put the design on my transfer paper. Okay, so now I've finally weeded my design, or I've transferred my design, and I'm just gonna plain apply it to the mug, see? Look at that. Press firmly to transfer your design. All right, here goes absolutely nothing. The design is transferred and this looks great uh, but sadly enough this is going to be just a commemorative mug because I am never doing that again so uh, this is the only mug that my aunt's gonna get for the party <laughs> I am so late like I have to, I have to do so much right now but this was a fun experiment why am I the way I am you'll see all about it on vlogmas tomorrow you guys I just got into the shop and I was the first one here and I cannot feel my fingers. It is so cold in here right now. Like I literally, I cannot feel my fingers and I feel some type of way about it. Like I am in a mood because it is so cold outside. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Lindsay. Hi, Treva. I'm so cold. If you saw my vlog from yesterday, you saw that like ugh, my screens are, they're not ruined. They're just, they're botched, I would say. So the good thing is there's like emulsion remover. So I just need to spray the, spray my screens with emulsion remover and, um, and then clean them back off again. And then I can recover them. But like, boy, that just annoyed me. Okay guys, one signature down, one to go. I was able to stop by the plumbing inspector's office this morning and I got the signature. So now I am headed a mere stone's throw <laughs> away from my salon to go to City Hall to get the zoning and planning signature. And then we'll be good to go. Like just thank goodness. I got a couple more hours of meetings and then it's guaca lunch day. See, that's what me and my best friend do. We just put the prefix guaca on whatever day we plan to go eat there. So like today is guaca Thursday. Like I am very excited. <laughs>
There's Richard. Oh my god, he just loves being on camera. Loves it. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm at lunch with Richard, and look what he bought me for Christmas. Oh my god, first of all, he bought me a Christmas present. Look what he bought me for Christmas. Like, you guys, the Excuse owls. Me, my wife actually bought it. Oh, okay, that's. Well, hold on, did she buy it for me, or yes. did she? Oh, see? Tell her I said thank you so much. But, like, everyone on my channel, you know, my, my logo used to be an owl with glasses. And everyone's like, you should bring the owl back. And I was just like, I don't even know, man. Like, I don't even know if I have a thing for owls anymore. But then, like, then I get this. And I'm just like, this is so cute. Like, the owls are definitely going to have to make a comeback. Like, I appreciate that so much. Thanks, Richard. Oh, look. I mean, we were just talking about owls, you guys. Come on. I love it. They want me to put owls on. So I didn't know owls were away. Richard's like, turn on, turn on the camera because like, like you're gonna want to record this action shot. And I was like, record what? I'm gonna show you a picture. Okay. So, no. <laughs> no. Oh gosh, I'm gonna start crying. Hold on, real quick. I'm so happy. I'm so. Can I tell the people? Sure. Oh my gosh. No, this is Richard's wife and she's pregnant. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, take the picture. Oh, this is so great. I'm so happy. How pregnant is she? 24 weeks. Oh my gosh, that is so great. I cannot wait to tell Amber. That is so great. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm turning this off. Oh, Richard. Okay guys, I'm on my way to Aunt Beverly's house to pick her up. Then we're gonna go to Costco. Like, you guys, uh, Richard's wife being pregnant is just the best thing ever. They've been trying for so long. I'm just so, so happy for them. But he also dropped a lot of other bombs on me as well. Like, he's officially established full residency in Austria. So if you remember, the way that his citizenship worked out is that he could only spend 90 days in a row in Austria and then he had to come back to the United States for 90 days. Then he could go back there for 90 days. No, no, no. He's established full residency there so he can stay as long as he wants to. He can live there. He's a resident. Like, he told me that he's going back to Austria on January the 15th and he has no plans to return. What? Oh, like he's gonna be back maybe he said in like June or something like that but like he doesn't have to come back anymore like his wife just renewed like a two-year research contract like he's gonna live in Austria now that really makes me sad but like I am so happy I'm just so happy for them and their baby ah! okay I'm done that was my screech of excitement Okay guys, the original plan was to be in bed like a half an hour ago, but I kind of just became obsessed with cleaning off my screens from yesterday. I have so many shirts to make tomorrow and I really wanted to start with the best screens possible. So I cleaned off my two mess up screens from yesterday. This was also my first time removing the emulsion from one of my existing screens. So the Watch Autumn Keto logo screen is completely clean. And I'm really scared about making it again, but I really wanted to start from scratch. And there's Maddie. And Maddie's a princess. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Yeah, she's over it. Today was a super busy day. It was a really fun day, but it was also a not so good day in terms of my eating. Like today is what I, I call like a calorie grab, which, you know, I was just eating for the sake of eating. I was like, you know what? Today is a planned off plan day. So I'm just going to grab and eat whatever I can, be, you know, because it's an off plan day. And I really felt stuffed toward the end of it. Now, the good news is I stopped eating around eight o'clock. So I feel better even already. But like, I know my weight tomorrow is going to be ridiculous. And I am so looking forward to fasting no matter what like no crazy plans i know i said that i planned on fasting up until my lunch with richard today 
but I didn't. I ended up eating some snacks at the shop and like, you know, just once again, calorie grab. Not my best work, but at the same time, I really appreciate these feelings. Like I appreciate the feeling of knowing like, you know what? Your marginal enjoyment of all that stuff just like really diminished throughout the day and it's not gonna help you reach your goals. Like that's really what I think. And so sometimes I just need to be reminded of that. <laughs> Even though I do it to myself, I know, right? But like, I'm not really tripping. I'm just aware of what today was and I have no desire to do it again for a long time. So that's good. I mean, I've got to go to sleep. I've got to wake up and make the most of my time tomorrow. I'm going to reapply the emotions to my screens. I don't even think I'm going to go to the shop tomorrow because at 9 a.m. I'm actually going to a hotel to like view their meeting space for Keto Palooza. What? So like I have a meeting at a hotel and then I'm going to come back home and work and I'm going to try to answer as many work emails as I can and stop around one or two because I've got, when I tell you, I've got to make and ship shirts. Like I'm so committed to doing that. And at five o'clock, I'm supposed to be going over to the event hall to start decorating for my family's Christmas party. Like today was a tough one. Tomorrow's going to be a tough one. Saturday's going to be a tough one. Sunday will be the first time that I get to put the Christmas party behind me, but then it's full steam ahead to actual Christmas. It's a lot. <laughs> but you know, overall, I'm doing great. I'm just thankful for this time of year. I'm filled with so much joy. I hope you can say the same. I'm going to sleep. I'll see you at the crack of dawn tomorrow. Bye.